How do you turn a blog into a money-making engine? Get ready to learn the proven methods to make money online through blogging and kickstart your path to financial freedom. There are many ways of making money with blogging, like affiliate marketing, brand partnerships, and selling merchandise. In short, the core idea is that making a blog turn money acts as a bridge for companies and your audience to purchase products or services. It may take a while to figure out which method works best for you, but with enough persistence, it's possible to make an annual five-figure income. First things first, you'll need to build a capable blog website and establish an audience before you can monetize it. Consider what value your content can bring and what makes your blog interesting. In this video, you'll learn how to prepare your blogging website, create engaging content, and monetize it. I'll also give some tips to do all the work effectively by harnessing the power of AI. The initial step of creating a blog is picking a niche, which means you'll focus your content on a selected topic. It'll help you stay on track as having a blog niche makes it easier to figure out your target audience. When setting up your new blog, it may be tempting to cover a broad range of topics, but trying to master everything at once is difficult, not to mention unsustainable. You might pull off a few successful quality blog posts, but your audience will be scattered, making it hard to maintain a loyal readership. Imagine your favorite movie review blogger writes something today, then talks about baking and cooking tips the other day. How would you feel as an audience member? That's why sticking to a niche to get devoted following is important. A dedicated audience will look forward to your content, giving your blog steady traffic. When deciding on a niche, pick a topic you enjoy learning and talking about. Many bloggers stop blogging after a few months because they lose interest. Start by listing your passions, hobbies, and areas of expertise. Also, make sure it's a topic you have some knowledge about. Most readers go to blogs to learn something new, so it will be nice if you can teach them something. But don't worry, you don't have to be an expert to profit from a niche. Having a little knowledge yet wanting to learn more is enough. It's true that at some point, readers may look for bloggers with a certain authority, but it's not a requirement. What's more important is having a unique perspective on your topic, being engaging, and always keen to learn more. Writing about a topic you enjoy will always be more fulfilling than forcing yourself to write about something you don't like. Remember, making money blogging is not something you can do in one or two days. You'll need to be consistent. Choose a niche you can write about for years and avoid topics people tend to lose interest in. Most importantly, as you want to earn extra income, your niche idea should be profitable with products that are high in buying intent. Upon starting, stick with the subtopic to build your personal brand and authority within that space. If possible, make it more specific, like if you want to make a food blog, choose to focus on a particular cuisine, maybe East Asian or Mediterranean cuisine, or whatever you love, over blogging about food-related things as a whole. Still, make sure that your niche has audience potential. Your chosen topic should have a level of pre-existing interest to ensure that you'll have an audience to write to. Once you gain a certain audience, you can gradually grow your blog topic bigger and broader over time. To help you develop some niche ideas, try to answer the following questions. What are my hobbies? What topics I'm most familiar with? How do I like spending my free time? What do I enjoy reading and learning about? What industries have I professionally worked in? Once you have a list of potential niches, write down 10 or 12 blog post ideas for each topic. If coming up with 10 posts feels challenging, that niche might not be the best choice. If you have several niche ideas in mind, confirm your ideas using Google Trends to know whether a topic is reliable, rising in popularity, or decreasing over time. You can find the search volume of specific keywords related to your niche and even compare multiple keywords at a time. From there, Google Trends will display the total search data according to the real-time condition or a particular time frame you choose. That way you can see if a trend has a long-lasting impact or gains short-lived popularity. Look for niches with a target audience with purchasing power and a willingness to spend on related products or services. For people still trying to decide what topic to start with, some of the most popular blog niches to consider in 2023 include technology, health and wellness, home decor, lifestyle, and travel. Once you validate that your choice has great potential to be your niche, identify successful blogs or websites on that topic. Assess their content quality, engagement, and monetization strategies. Consider whether you can differentiate yourself from competitors by offering a unique perspective, specialization, or value-added content. Moreover, try engaging with potential readers on social media groups, forums, or surveys to scale their enthusiasm, learn what they need, and discover their pain points. 
Such information will help to refine your niche and tailor your content to meet their expectations. Creating a blog name will also be easier when you have a focused topic. Your blog name is an investment in your blog's success. Try to capture your blog's essence and engage your audience. They'll set you apart from your competitors. It will also act as the first impression readers have of your site, so make it catchy for people to easily recall and revisit your blog. Memorable names can also generate word-of-mouth hype as readers will share them with others. Most importantly, a blog name incorporating relevant keywords with your content helps your site's SEO. This can enhance your blog's visibility on search engine results pages and attract organic traffic. Start by brainstorming a list of words and phrases related to your blog's niche or topic. Think about themes, concepts, or emotions you want to convey. Then, combine different words or phrases from your list to create unique blog name options. Consider using alliteration, rhymes, or puns. Ensure that your blog name resonates with your audience and reflects their interest. Think about the language and tone that would appeal to your target audience. Sounds complicated? Why not use ChatGPT for this task? So let's say I wish to create a travel blog name for young backpackers in the US. I'm asking ChatGPT to come up with a name containing the word backpack, describing my target audience alongside of it. Feel free to add more details if you want to tweak your prompt further. Then, write down the best name options to check for domain name availability. A domain name that matches your blog name will boost brand recognition and credibility. It is also a good idea to check if your chosen name is already trademarked to avoid legal issues. Before finalizing your blog name, seek feedback from friends, family, or online communities. They can provide valuable insights and perspectives on the appeal and uniqueness of your chosen blog name. If you have a niche and blog name ready, it's time to create a blog website. First, you'll need a hosting plan and domain name. Visit Hostinger.com or click the link in the description to choose the business web hosting plan. It will cover all the necessary resources and tools required to create a blog. You'll get additional 3 months for free by choosing the 48-month subscription plan. Hostinger's plans are scalable, meaning you can easily adjust the hosting resources if your site grows in scale. Click Add to Cart to purchase. Choose your preferred subscription plan, and as a bonus, most of Hostinger's plans offer a free domain name for the first year. Now, create a hosting account and select a payment method. Don't forget to apply our coupon code BLOG10 to get 10% off your purchase. Complete the payment and check your inbox to find the email address verification message. Click the Verify Email button to continue. Awesome! As mentioned, you'll get a free domain name by purchasing the business web hosting plan. A domain name acts as an address when visiting a website, so the best practice is to create a short, easy to remember domain name. Remember that blog name you set along earlier? You can check if it's available as a domain name by using a domain name checker. Consider changing the domain extension if your preferred domain name is taken, for example, .blog instead of .com. Claim your free domain by clicking the Claim Domain button right here. Enter your desired domain name, then choose a top-level domain from the drop-down menu. Then hit the Check Availability button. You'll see the following notification if your domain name is available. Proceed by clicking on Claim Domain. Next, provide your information such as country of residence, whether you'll use this site for personal or business use, and your contact details. Once you have filled in all the required fields, click Finish Registration. You should see a message saying your contact information is under review, but this should take only a couple of minutes. And that's it! You have successfully claimed your free domain with a lifetime free SSL certificate. Now, let's go back to HPanel. Click Continue. You'll be directed to the Domain Overview page. If the domain status shows as active and the email verification status is verified, then the hosting plan setup process is complete. Proceed to choose the blog website creation tool. Hostinger offers quick and easy WordPress integration or other content management systems like Joomla and Adobe Commerce. You can also create a blog within minutes using Hostinger AI Website Builder. However, I'll be using WordPress as an example this time around. WordPress is considered one of the leading platforms for blogging and website creation, and it offers several unique advantages that make it such a popular choice. It provides unrivaled flexibility for scaling blog monetization options in the long run. WordPress is a free and open source platform, so you get a plethora of different resources to improve your blog and add more features later. Navigate to HPanel's front page. You'll see your newly purchased web hosting plan. Click Setup. Hostinger's guided setup wizard will ask a few questions so you can get more personalized site building experience. Click Start Now. Since we want to build a brand new site with WordPress, select Create a new website. Now, let's choose a platform. Choose WordPress, then click the Select WordPress button. It's time to create your WordPress account. 
Your email address should already be in this field, so you just need to set up a password. Take note of these details as you'll need them to log into the WordPress dashboard later. I recommend saving your login data to a password manager just for safety. Then click continue. HPanel will ask if you want to install additional plugins on your website. You can skip this step as you can do this later. However, since we want to create a blog to earn money online, let's take all in one SEO as at least one essential plugin to include. We will cover plugin recommendations later in the video. Click continue. Now let's choose a template. The options shown here are typically have the perfect layout for displaying blog articles. Click show more for more template options. If you wish to see the layout on a blank site, hit the preview button. Select one that you prefer or skip the step if you don't want to use a pre-built template and already have a custom design. Next step is to name your website. Under the choose a domain option, your freshly registered domain name is automatically displayed in the drop down field. Click select. Finish the setup process by inspecting your website details one last time. You can choose a server location here. Select the one closest to you for the best page loading speed. Click finish setup to wrap up this step and wait a couple of minutes for the process to complete. At this point, you should receive an email notification about your new professional business email. Your hosting or account comes bundled with a premium email service thanks to Titan. So your website domain name will appear after the at symbol. Start building your blog by clicking edit website. You'll then be asked for the email and password you registered earlier. Fill in your information and click login. Congratulations, you have a blogging site ready. You can edit your blog website elements and tweak its content from here. People often think that WordPress themes and templates are one and the same, but that's not the case. In short, the main difference between the two is the number of pages each pertains to. Themes affect the entire design of your site, while templates affect the layout of a single page of your site. You can find numerous WordPress themes from third-party sources, but always download them from the official theme creator. Several theme source options include the official WordPress theme gallery, Themes Forest, Elegant Themes, and Studio Press. Remember that some themes aren't free and might provide only partial features. If you want to find a theme from the official WordPress page, navigate to the appearance menu on your WordPress dashboard and choose theme. On the other hand, if you want to download one elsewhere, learn how to install a WordPress theme by following the steps in this video tutorial. I'll leave a link in the info card. When choosing a theme for your blog, consider what visual tone you wish to display first. Do you want it to appear professional, artistic, or classic looking? You must ensure your chosen theme is mobile friendly, responsive, and highly customizable. Themes with diverse customization options will let you tweak the theme's appearance and layout more freely. Features like color schemes, font choices, and layout options are valuable in this regard. Ensure that chosen themes developer regularly checks and performs updates. That way it is more likely to remain compatible with the latest versions of WordPress and provides important security updates. Find all that information by reading each theme's user reviews and ratings. That way you can also get insights into its performance, flexibility, and overall user satisfaction. Look for themes, live demos, or screenshots to get a clear overview of the theme. Some developers provide thorough documentation and tutorials as well. After choosing a theme, you can now customize your blog's visual design. Creating a visually engaging blog is crucial for attracting and retaining readers. Remember, it will be the first element visitors will look at before they read your blog posts. Now, before we go further, consider creating a website logo. Whether you're a blogger or not, it is an important branding element that will set your site apart from competitors. If you have the budget, getting a graphic designer to work on the desired logo is a good idea, but you can also use a logo maker instead. For example, we can use Hostinger's AI logo maker by going to logo.hostinger.com. From here, you just need to fill in your blog's name, slogan, and niche industry. Click create to generate logo ideas. If you find something you like, you can customize it further in the create yourself tab. Once you have a logo, download the file and add it to your WordPress media gallery. Always opt for a clean, minimalist layout that enhances readability when designing your website. Develop a cohesive brand identity using consistent colors, fonts, and imagery throughout your blog as it fosters recognition and helps build a professional and memorable online presence. Select a legible font and maintain a suitable size. It is an essential design element as blogs will consist dominantly of text. As for colors, use the ones that can contrast text for better readability. 
Create an eye-catching header that captures your blog's essence. If appropriate, incorporate your logo, tagline, and use high-quality images that reflect your content. Make a clear and intuitive menu structure providing categories or tags for different topics. Include a search bar to help readers find specific content quickly. Install third-party WordPress plugins to help you add more functionality or optimize your website's performance. Many are free, while some offer premium features for a price. However, you can't randomly install numerous plugins without considering security and website performance factors. Some plugins can be outdated or vulnerable to cyber threats, so you must consider several aspects before activating them. First, check the plugin's popularity and reputation. Plugins with a large user base and positive reviews indicate that they are widely trusted and have been tested. Second, consider the developer's track record and support. Check if the developer has a history of maintaining and updating their plugins, as this ensures compatibility with the latest WordPress versions and security updates. Great customer support is crucial if you encounter certain issues or need assistance anytime. Third, the plugin's compatibility with your WordPress version and theme. Ensure your chosen plugin is compatible with your current setup to avoid unexpected conflicts and compatibility issues. Now, here are the six basic recommendations for your blogging site. All-in-One SEO is a popular plugin that helps optimize your blog for search engines, improving your site's visibility and organic traffic. If you're keen on tools like Google Page Insights, AdSense, or Analytics, Google SiteKit will be your one-stop solution for monitoring your website. Essential for fighting spam messages, Akismet filters out unwanted comments and protects your blog from malicious content. Offering a suite of powerful features, Jetpack provides security and performance optimization features, site analytics, and social media integration. Ideal for bloggers looking to set up an online store, WooCommerce is a comprehensive e-commerce plugin that ensures easy product management and secure transactions. WordPress Supercache helps improve your site's speed and performance by generating static HTML files, reducing server load, and improving user experience. Remember not to overload your site with too many plugins, which can greatly slow down your website. Regularly review and update your installed plugins to maintain optimal functionality and security. A clear and organized structure helps visitors navigate your blog easily. It lets them quickly find the information they want, enhancing their overall user experience. A well-structured blog ensures that content is logically arranged with intuitive menus, categories, and tags, making it easy for readers to explore related topics and discover new content. To divide your blog post content, use headings, subheadings, and bullet points to break down information into digestible sections. Use white space effectively to improve readability and maintain a balanced, clutter-free appearance. It will help your site's SEO as structured web pages and posts make search engine crawlers better understand your site's content. In other words, a well-structured layout guides readers to explore your content better. In this section, I will show you examples of a great homepage, about and contact pages of a blog. However, I won't cover how to create them on WordPress, but you can check out a dedicated Hostinger Academy video regarding that. You'll find the link in the description below this video. Your homepage acts like the front entrance of your blog and is the first thing visitors see when they first visit your website, so it plays a vital role in capturing their attention. A well-designed homepage sets the overall tone for your blog, communicates your brand identity, and entices visitors to explore more of your content. Place a header or hero section displaying your blog's name or logo to convey the essence of your brand. Use high-quality images or graphics that align with your blog's niche to create an immediate connection with your visitors. Let's use the Hostinger Tutorials header as an example. Our name and logo are here. Visitors can directly see the site menus, giving clear navigation toward the topics it covers. Next, consider including a brief introduction or tagline that describes what your blog is about. This should capture your visitors' attention and provide a clear understanding of the value they can expect from your blog. Keep it concise, engaging, and memorable. To enhance user experience, organize your content in a logical and user-friendly manner. A well-structured and easy-to-navigate homepage helps visitors quickly find what they're looking for and encourages them to explore further. Meanwhile, including a featured or recent blog post section on your homepage is an excellent way to showcase your best content. Select your most compelling or popular articles and present them in an engaging way, including enticing titles, excerpts, and eye-catching images. This lets visitors understand your writing style and encourages them to dive deeper into your blog. 
Finally, remember to include a clear call to action on your homepage. This can be an invitation to subscribe to your newsletter, follow you on social media, or explore a specific blog category. A well-placed call to action leads visitors to take the next step and deepens their engagement with your blog. The About page serves as an introduction to you and your blog. It allows you to share your story, values and expertise with your readers. Let's explore some essential elements to make it effective. Start with a headline or introduction that grabs the reader's attention. This should show your blog's purpose and what sets it apart. While you can go with a short and professional about page like the previous example, you can share your personal story or inspiration behind your blog. It will let readers understand the journey that led you to create the platform and helps them relate to your experience. Be authentic and genuine in your storytelling as it helps forge a deeper connection with your audience. You can also include a photo of yourself that adds a personal touch. It helps readers put a face on the name that makes your blog more relatable. Additionally, consider including images or visuals representing your niche or blog's theme to make the page pop out. If you want to highlight your expertise or qualifications related to your blog's topic, that's also a great idea. This can be anything such as a brief bio mentioning your educational background, professional experience or relevant certifications. Demonstrating your expertise builds credibility and reassures readers that they're in capable hands. Another element to include in the About page is clearly describing your blog's mission, vision and values. Explain what your blog stands for and what readers can expect to gain from it. This will help align your brand with your readers' interests and allows them to determine if your content resonates with them. One of the principal reasons the contact page is essential for your blog is that it provides a direct line of communication between you and your readers. It lets your audience contact you, perhaps offering suggestions or collaboration opportunities. Having a contact page shows that you value your audience's input and are open to engaging with them. It invokes a sense of trust and authenticity, making your readers feel more connected to your blog. Now let's discuss what you should include in a contact page. You should be creative, clear and concise with the heading. You can go for something standard such as contact or get in touch with me or match your branding to formulate something more creative. After that, include all the channels visitors can contact you. Also, include a contact form that visitors can fill out with their name, email address and message. Doing so simplifies the communication process and ensures you receive all the necessary information to respond effectively. You can use the WordPress Forms plugin to easily apply this to your website. It brings multiple customizable form templates you can add as quickly as using several mouse clicks. Additionally, offer alternative contact methods such as an email address or social media handles, giving visitors more options that suit their preferences. Write an additional message to inform visitors about when and how they can expect to hear from you. That way you'll show your professionalism which will help handle your audience's expectations. Add an FAQ section to your contact page to save you and your readers time by addressing common questions up front. Great! Now that you have a blogging platform ready, it's time to plan your content strategy and content schedule. That way, it'll be easier to consistently upload new posts and avoid creating the same content twice. Something to keep in mind is that making money with blogging doesn't equal creative writing. So developing a strategy is essential to get your desired income. Keyword research is important to any website search engine optimization strategy. It is the process of finding the most relevant words or phrases your target audience uses on search engines such as Google. Keyword research helps you understand what your audience is looking for and how many people search for that type of content. So, by finding the right keywords, you can produce better content and attract more visitors to your website. The keyword research process can be rather simple. First and foremost, start by considering some keywords you want to rank for. It can be your products and services or topics your website addresses. Those will be your seed keywords, which will act as a foundation to expand your content. For example, you have a food blog sharing recipes and kitchen accessories. College students are your target audience. What type of keywords do you think they use? It can be simple recipes, foods to make in 10 minutes, simple foods for college students or other related terms. These are your seed keywords. Next, enter these seed keywords into a keyword research tool. Several keyword research tools like Google Search Console, Hrefs or SEMrush are available online. Some SEO tools are free and others require a premium subscription. However, the majority of freemium tools are limited in their data pool and features, even restricting the number of keywords you can check. So, 
Freebie tools can work when you don't have much content. As your website grows, you should invest in a premium SEO platform to expand your research. Fortunately, nowadays, the ever-expanding AI tool ChatGPT can also help you with brainstorming keyword ideas. Open ChatGPT and come up with several prompts to get efficient results. As an example, I'll start by writing the first prompt. Then, create a follow-up prompt asking ChatGPT to generate more subtopics. Feel free to modify the prompt if you have a certain amount of subtopics to include or specific preferences. As you see, ChatGPT is an excellent tool for content ideas and brainstorming seed keywords. However, it does have its limitations. For example, you can't see their keyword search volume, which shows how difficult one keyword is to show on top of the search results pages. You'll need more keyword research tools like Answer the Public or Ahrefs. Answer the Public is a keyword research tool that generates suggested searches or predictions you normally see when you query a search engine. It is great for generating long tail keywords while mapping out all available search information. So you'll need to link your Google account first. Then type one of your seed keywords in the text box. Choose your preferred region and language and click search. Answer the public will then generate long tail keywords by dividing them into subcategories like question words, prepositions, comparisons, and alphabetical order. For each keyword, you can also see the search volume, which implies the competition level to rank high on search engine results pages. The higher the number, the more difficult it is to maintain the keyword on the first result pages. Note that you can only inspect three seed keywords for free. Many of the Answer the Public features are for premium subscriptions only. If you use Ahrefs, it will give you the same premium access to its features. However, you can still benefit from the free features as a beginner. For example, I'll use the free keyword generator tool. Without creating an account, Ahrefs will let you choose which platform to look for the keyword. You can only choose Google, Bing, YouTube, and Amazon for this free version. Let's choose Google for now. Then enter one of your seed keywords to see more of your blog post creation ideas. Choose a location and hit find keywords. You'll see a list of keywords and the three columns on the right like this. Those are the important metrics related to the keywords. So in the first column, KD stands for keyword difficulty, which represents how hard it will be for your keyword to rank. In Ahrefs, the keyword difficulty scaling means 0 to 10 is easy, 11 to 30 is medium, 31 to 70 is hard, 71 to 100 very hard. If you want to check the KD number of a specific keyword only, Ahrefs also offers limited free access to the keyword difficulty checker tool. The second column shows the search volume. In other words, how many people are looking for the specific term. Most seed keywords have not only high search volume, but also high keyword difficulty. Sometimes you can find keywords with lower difficulty scores and engine volume. Since you're just starting, prioritize keywords with a low difficulty score. Meanwhile, the updated column shows when the data was gathered. We have a separate video tutorial if you want to use Ahrefs Premium Access for keyword research. You'll find the link to the video over here. Besides using SEO tools, you can also look for more keyword ideas by trying to input search queries into websites such as Google itself, Pinterest, Amazon, or other websites within your niche. If you type one or two keywords, you'll see suggestions you can take note of and consider as your next content ideas. Once you have a list of keywords, the next step is to ensure your content enters the target audience's search intent. It's a user's primary goal when typing a query in a search engine, and there are three main types informational, navigational, and transactional. Informational intent means your target audience is searching for information or something to learn on a subject. This type is often applied in the form of blog posts or articles, with the how to or what is included in the title. Navigational intent refers to the search queries intended for a specific page or content. For example, when you intentionally search for hosting or tutorials. Transactional intent indicates that the audience is searching for a place to purchase a specific product or service. The listicle blog post often answers this intent the best. Creating a high-earning blog focusing on informational and transactional search intent is crucial. Maintaining your blog while at the same time balancing its value proposition, keeping your credibility and bridging transactions is something you should be working on. Filtering search intent will help you decide whether or not to use a particular keyword and the type of content you should create. Since your blog is taking its first steps, go with the long tail keywords as they have less competition and will help you build highly relevant content for your audience. Once you have established your authority on the topic, you can gradually start working on high volume keywords. 
analyze the keywords your competitors use so you can find more to compete with, or create new content using keywords that your competitors are not using. In other words, prioritize your audience's needs while conducting keyword research simultaneously. Do not use keywords simply because they have low difficulty and high search volume. Ensure that your chosen keywords are relevant to your website and audience. When you have a list of your keywords, it's time to plan your content creation workflow. Doing so will let you make as many posts as possible and keep its quality. A content pillar is a long-form, comprehensive piece of content that covers a broad topic in more detail. It is a valuable resource for your target audience and a piece to help you establish expertise within your niche. Content pillars are typically evergreen, meaning that they remain relevant and valuable over time. These are an essential part of any content marketing strategy as they help you attract new visitors to your blog, improve your search engine ranking, and boost brand authority. Moreover, you can also use them as money pages, meaning the primary content you will use to earn money will be from affiliate links. To create a successful content pillar, you need to choose a topic that is relevant to your target audience and that you are passionate about. Ensure that your content pillars are well researched and informative, then structure them in a way that is easy to read and navigate. Determine the main sections or subtopics you want to cover and organize the information logically. You can apply your keyword research output during this step. Use visuals to break up your text and make your content pillar more visually striking as they will likely be lengthy. Then regularly update your content pillar to ensure it remains accurate, relevant and up to date. As you create new related articles, link them to the pillar content maintaining a strong internal link structure. I'll dive deeper into creating quality blog posts to support content pillars later in this video. Creating an editorial calendar plan and scheduling content helps to maintain a consistent and organized content creation process. Decide how often you want to publish new content on your blog by considering your resources, audience preferences and capacity to consistently produce high quality content. It could be daily, weekly, bi-weekly or monthly. Define overarching content themes or categories that align with your blog's niche and incorporate your keyword research output in this step. This will help you diversify your content and maintain a high balance mix of topics. Assign specific names to different weeks or months in your editorial calendar. Also, take note of important dates, holidays, industry events or occasions relevant to your target audience. Take consideration of these dates in your editorial calendar to plan timely and theme content around these events. Use Google Calendar, a spreadsheet or specialized editorial calendar software to visually represent your content plan. Assign specific dates, topics and formats to each piece of content. Divide your blog post research, writing, editing, proofreading, formatting and publishing process. It will help your content creation process to be more organized, efficient and measurable. That way you can easily detect any bottlenecks and blockages. You can use project management tools like monday.com or a task management tool like Trello to visually define the content creation process. For example, I've created a content board for my blog using Trello. I divided the board into keywords, outline, writing, editing and to be posted, which will mark the status of the content piece. You can edit the card here by adding details about the keyword, for example, the link to the WordPress draft page, Google Docs or anything you use as your primary blog post creation tool. You can also add more team members to collaborate and edit the cards. It's also possible to include a content calendar altogether by unlocking the premium version. I've shown you just one example, so if you're more comfortable using something else, that will also be great. What's important is that you need a clear workflow and assign dedicated time for each content creation phase. That way, it'll be easier to measure your blog's progress and develop a system to keep it going. Plus, it will make the work a whole lot easier once you need a bigger team for your blog's content production. During this step, your core goal is to create quality blog posts to build your topical authority, making search engine crawler bots understand the ins and outs of your blog and help you rank high on search results pages is important. For instance, you want your blog articles on casual everyday wear. If you only write one single article about it, you probably have already lost the competition. Why? The fashion niche is saturated and you can't possibly cover everything about it in one blog post. That's the reason why you should build topical authority by creating other posts related to casual outfits. For example, casual outfit ideas, casual fashion trends, stylish casual wear, 
wardrobe essentials for casual outfits, how to style casual clothes, casual outfit inspiration, affordable casual fashion, how to mix and match casual fashion pieces. Oh, and these are just some examples. Your blog can achieve topical authority by covering a chosen niche as a whole rather than focusing on just individual keywords. Sometimes it's even possible for sites with low domain rankings to rank higher than popular sites thanks for their topical authority. Search engines must associate a website with a topic to rank it as relevant research for other subtopics. Creating several content pieces about a certain topic gives you more internal links within your blog. As a result, search engines will consider your blog a trusted source within that niche. So, as you've learned how to find the keywords for your blog post, it's time to write your content according to the keyword list. I'll be using Google Docs as my word processing software of choice. Google Docs can be easily integrated with other apps and simplify collaboration with other team members. You can use it alongside numerous helpful Google Chrome extensions to streamline the content production process. On this blank page, the first step is to write an SEO-friendly blog title. To make it simple, use ChatGPT to come up with several alternatives. For example, I will generate post titles using the previous casual outfits example. Using the following prompt, two types of titles will be generated. The first one uses fashion expert recommendations, while the second answer uses an SEO expert point of view. This way, you can have two viewpoints ensuring your title is correct and still matches SEO best practices. From there, you can choose the best title or modify it according to your preference. Remember, to create an SEO-friendly title, it should be somewhere between 50 to 60 characters long. Include your focus keyword, address your target audience, and represent what the article is about. Write your title in Google Docs and use the title formatting option which equals an H1 on HTML. Next, create an outline of your article. The first way you can make this is from competitor articles ranking high on search engines. Search the focus keyword on Google, then choose the article that appears at the top. Using the detailed SEO browser extension, you'll get the complete information of the article's heading list, which you can apply to your own piece. Now, create your H2 list that reflects your focus keyword. If you want more ideas, you can also use ChatGPT to create an alternative outline or define rough ideas to write under each heading. Afterward, move the content production part using any AI writing tool you like, such as Jasper AI. It's a powerful tool for writing blog articles. Compared to ChatGPT, Jasper AI is tailored for writing specific tasks. As mentioned earlier, there's also a Chrome extension that you can easily incorporate into Google Docs. But since it's a premium app, this time I'll use ChatGPT instead. Take note that using the AI tool for writing a long form article at once won't give you a satisfying result. It's best to generate the content heading after heading and set your preferred word count in the prompt. Include the prompt to the AI model, then copy and paste the generated answer for each heading. After letting the AI work as a writer, it's time for you to become an editor. Why? Remember, AI tools have limitations, including repetition, excessive word count, and grammatical errors, and sometimes they can even hallucinate facts. So, your job is to double check the writing for the fact, readability, and grammatical errors, especially if your article contains factual information. Also, sometimes AI tools can write the silliest sentences or sound rather awkward to human ears. Another crucial element to consider is your unique voice and perspective to maintain the authenticity of your blog. Nowadays, Google can also tell which element is AI written, so you must double check the content. If you need another AI tool to paraphrase, consider using Quillbot to help you restructure or change the word choices from the writing results. The free version will grant you limited access to check only around 100 words to paraphrase in one go. Meanwhile, the premium version offers unlimited word count and a built-in grammar and plagiarism checker, making it a great one-stop solution for your AI writing tasks. But if you prefer paraphrasing your content manually to match your writing tone and style, you can rely on something like Grammarly to easily check grammatical errors. You can also double check if your article is detected as AI written using originality. It will charge you only a cent for every hundred words it analyzes. It will give you a percentage of how original your content is. So, once this editing process is finished, review the article again to ensure it meets your quality standards. Find the appropriate anchor text for internal links, especially your content pillars. 
Another helpful tool for your blog post optimization is Surfer SEO. It is a dedicated SEO tool that examines high ranking page metrics for given keywords. Based on these analysis, you will understand what you will need to do to create content to outrank your competitors for those keywords. Surfer will assist you in two ways creating or outsourcing new content and optimizing already published pages. By providing data driven insights and recommendations, it works to improve your on page SEO. It'll help you build more content authority on Google. However, as this process can take up a lot of time and money, you don't need to apply this tool to all your blog posts. Use it only on keywords high in competition and for your content pillars. So here's how you can use Surfer. Go to surferseo.com, create an account and choose your plan. After that, download the Surfer SEO Chrome extension for easier use on Google Docs. Enter your target keyword into the content editor text box, choose a preferred region and click create. Surfer SEO will analyze the top ranking pages for your target keyword and provide recommendations. As you can see, it suggests your content's ideal word count, structure, headings and subheadings. Now your task is to make changes to your content according to Surfer SEO suggestions. Here you will see keyword usage recommendations, including the optimal keyword density and placement. Aim to turn them green by writing keywords according to the recommended frequency. Try your best to meet all the optimization recommendations. But if you can't, at least try to aim for a green colored score of more than 67. In the brief tab, you will see a list of the top competitor articles to help improve your article. Another important element for SEO and readability are images. Enhance your content by incorporating relevant visuals like infographics, videos or charts. They can improve engagement and make complex information more digestible for your audience. Add at least one featured image to your post. You can benefit from free images on Freepik or Unsplash to look for an abstract illustration. Don't forget to optimize your images. It helps improve website performance by reducing page loading time. Do this by compressing your images if needed as WordPress limits image size to upload to the media library. Use descriptive file names when saving images for uploading and avoid naming them at random as search engines also index them to learn what your website is about. To help you with this, consider using a caching plugin for a more detailed guide, especially if your blog post contains a lot of images. Once you have an entire article ready, it's time to publish it on your blog. Copy and paste the document into the WordPress blog editor, upload all the images and place them accordingly. Then if you have an active SEO plugin like Yoast or AO SEO, you will see an SEO checklist to complete. Follow all the recommended steps like adding meta tags and image alt text. Ensure your content is well optimized, easy to read and mobile friendly. Consistently update your blog, set your goals, follow the content plan and workflow you created and stick with it. Remember, you'll need patience and persistence to create a topical authority, so don't give up easily if your blog articles don't perform well in the beginning. What's important is to regularly track the performance of your content using analytics tools. Measure how your content is performing, as search intent always changes over time. Monitor metrics such as page views, engagement, conversions and feedback from your audience. Use this data to refine your content creation process and improve future content. Update pages and evaluate if they can eventually perform better or consider deleting them if it's constantly underperforming. Slowly but surely, as you finally get a stream of traffic, it's time to start monetizing your blog. When it comes to blog monetization, there are several ways you can try. Creating multiple income streams and maintaining stability by diversifying your platform is possible. For example, you could actively blog on other social media platforms or create YouTube videos of your blog posts. When choosing the right monetization methods for your blog, consider your target audience, niche and long term goals. Understanding your readers preferences and needs will help you select methods that resonate with them and enhance their user experience. Balance your monetization efforts by maintaining the integrity and authenticity of your blog. Experimenting with different methods and analyzing their performance lets you optimize your blog's monetization strategy over time. While it can be a long term strategy, as a blogging newcomer, you can try affiliate marketing and brand partnerships as the easiest and simplest way to earn money. 
If you're unfamiliar with affiliate marketing, it's a company partner program that will give you commissions for every product or service purchase made using your affiliate link. You'll need to sign up for the affiliate program to get such a link, which you can place on your blog posts. Note that your blog will bridge customers and their buying decisions. So keep your blog posts valuable and be selective about the products or services you will promote. Incorporate affiliate links naturally within your content rather than using excessive or intrusive promotion. For example, you can recommend products or services within blog posts, write product reviews, or create product listicles including affiliate links. After the post is up for some time, analyze which content is well performing and which one does not. Prepare an alternative strategy plan, make post changes, and see if it performs better. Compare the number of traffic with total link clicks or purchases made. The first step in being an affiliate marketer is looking for reputable affiliate programs offering relevant products or services to your niche. Sort out the options by considering such factors as commission rates, product quality, affiliate support, and payment terms. You can also join an affiliate marketing network to find affiliate programs and compare those aspects more easily. Several well-known platforms include CJ Affiliate, ShareSale, and Awin. For your reference, I have several affiliate marketing program recommendations for you. First, Amazon Associates. Being one of the largest and most well-known affiliate programs, Amazon Associates offers a wide range of products for almost every niche. Second, Hostinger Affiliate. Web hosting services are increasingly in demand as many businesses have shifted to digital in recent years. If your blog talks about technology, the Hostinger Affiliate program is worth joining. You can market thousands of online courses and specializations on Coursera. Coursera Plus subscriptions are also eligible for commission. Finally, Booking.com Affiliate Partner Program. Suitable for travel-related blogs, the Booking.com's affiliate program allows you to earn commissions by referring hotel bookings. You will eventually get steady traffic once you understand what quality content involves. By then, consider joining Google AdSense, an advertising network that lets you display contextual ads on your blog. AdSense can complement your affiliate marketing strategy by providing an additional income stream from ad clicks. To use AdSense, apply for an account and, once approved, generate an ad code. Place the code strategically within your blog to maximize visibility and click-through rates. As a beginner blogger, you can leverage sponsored posts and partnerships as effective strategies to monetize your blogs and start earning money. These provide opportunities to collaborate with brands, promote products or services, and generate revenue. Building a strong readership is crucial for attracting potential sponsors. So, to get started, you should focus on developing high-quality, engaging content that attracts an audience. Keep in mind that you need to research and identify suitable sponsors. Filter the options by considering brand relevance, product quality, and target audience fit. After getting the list of brands to collaborate with, contact them directly or join influencer marketing platforms to facilitate collaborations with sponsors. If you want to practice this method, prepare a compelling pitch highlighting your blog's unique value and audience reach. Include information containing measurable metrics such as your blog's traffic statistics, social media followers, and engagement numbers to demonstrate your blog's potential value to sponsors. To maximize earning potential, consider creating pricing packages based on the level of exposure and promotion provided in each sponsored post. For instance, you can offer different rates for including a brand mention in the text, featuring the brand's product and visuals, or creating dedicated content centered around the brand. When negotiating sponsored post deals, remember to establish clear terms and expectations. This includes determining the number of posts, post format, content guidelines, and payment details. In addition to sponsored posts, partnerships can also be lucrative for beginner bloggers. Partnerships involve collaborating with brands or other bloggers to create mutually beneficial content or projects, including joint blog posts, co-hosted events, product giveaways, or collaborative digital products. Partnering with other bloggers with a similar target audience within a different niche or content style is also worth trying to expand your reach and attract more potential sponsors. To find partnership opportunities, join blogging communities, attend industry events or conferences, and engage with other bloggers in their niche through social media platforms. When you're involved in a partnership, remember to establish clear goals and expectations that include determining the scope of the partnership, the desired outcomes, and how responsibilities and benefits will be shared between the parties involved. Creating a written agreement or contract can help ensure both parties are on the same page and protect the blogger's interests. 
As you gain experience and expand audience awareness, you can attract more lucrative sponsored posts and partnerships. So don't stop producing high quality content on a regular basis, engaging with your audience and demonstrating professionalism and collaborations. Be selective and mindful of the brands you choose to work with. Aligning with brands that share your values and resonate with your audience will help maintain authenticity and credibility. Always prioritize your reader's trust and avoid partnering with brands or products that don't align with your blog's niche or audience's interests. So, in this video, we talked about the steps, tips and tricks for making money with blogging. The key takeaway is that making money through blogging needs the right strategy and consistency. In summary, start with choosing your niche, creating a blog, developing a content plan, publishing posts and finally, focusing on monetization. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to Hostinger Academy YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.